Jesus, my Jenny. So where is the child? At home. With who? My parents. Mm. So they are taking care of your child? Yes. Well, now you are busy telling <laughs> around me. <laughs> no, man of God. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. My name is Rosemary Nageni. I'm from Zanin. Um, the reason I came to Cherries was because of the situation that I was facing at work. I was not happy, so I came to Cherries. The uh, issues I had, I have at work was that um, I was working on Sunday, so I was not able to go to church. And the treatment that I was getting uh, from work was, was not good because everybody... It was like they were pretending that they want me, they like me, or else I could sense or they, they don't. They're just pretending. So there was a lot of pressure from work where I had to make sure that um, everything is in order. Everything was facing me while the others were just not giving me pressure to, to, to do more, to even do their job. So I was not happy with work and it has been an issue that has been in my mind for the past month or so so i i've been having a desire not even to go back so that's those were the issues that the men of god did point out of those were the issues that i was facing okay. i i got the opportunity to meet the man of god for one-on-one -on -one, uh, of which he did um, pray for me regarding the issues that i was facing at work so we were praying for a better job of which i believe in jesus name i have received it when I met him, he said uh, we should pray about the issues at work because he's saying where I'm working, the environment where I am is not good. So yes, he said we should pray about the issues at work that I'm facing at work. Uh, he did declare that I will be expecting good news very soon. So I believe in Jesus' name. I'm so blessed. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. I'm happy that God um, saw the issues that I was facing and he gave me a solution of which I believe it's, 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 I'm happy. <laughs> there's, there's no ways to explain it, but I'm happy. Uh, I would like to, maybe if there's somebody facing the same issues at work, to not give up. Um, God always has a plan for us, so his plans are not to destroy us or they are of evil. But then um, we just we just have to keep on praying, as he said that men ought always to pray. So I believe that through prayer, God will answer us. Amen. <laughs> you see, I remember I told you that you need deliverance. You see this one. Now. That's why I said after we pray for what happened. <laughs> Leave her. Leave her, you spirit. You giving the wrong voices. Eh? Come on. You look at the chair. You spirit, you leave her. You leave this lady. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Jesus name. 
Ma'am, you also had an opportunity of seeing the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had the opportunity to speak to men of God one-on-one -on -one regarding my um, um, the situation that I'm facing in my love life. So he pointed out that we at home we're having a case whereby nobody of us are getting married. So he prayed for us and then told us that everything's going to go well. Um, do you confirm what the apostle said to be true? If yes, I'd love that you kindly please elaborate. No, I do confirm because at home we, we are about, there are about seven girls. So out of all the seven girls, only one got married. So from the grandchildren to us, nobody's gotten married. It's only one grandchild that got married. So it was a confirmation to us that there's something wrong. So he did pray for us and then he said he removed the case. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? I feel really blessed because I believe that whatever that was the problem is, is now over. Yes, I'm very blessed to be here and I am happy that God heard my prayer. Yeah, I'm very happy.